Sometimes when I'm using stock photos or clip art, I tend to want to modify the images or even combine them to make a whole new image. So we're going to take a look at how we can use PowerPoint as a tool to do this. We're going to use PowerPoint as an image editing tool to create an image to fit our needs. So here's an example. I'm on a slide here in PowerPoint, and you can see that I've pulled together a bunch of different clip art images from the Microsoft library. I just used the insert tab and then chose clip art and found some images that I liked. And I've also got this circle here that I've inserted on my slide using PowerPoint's shapes tool up here on the toolbar. And what I want to do is make all of these things into one image file because I'm building an engage interaction called a labeled graphic, which is actually something completely separate from PowerPoint. And I want to be able to bring in a customized picture that I've built to look the way I want. Now, of course, you can do this in other image editing tools too. I'm doing it in PowerPoint just because it's super easy and super accessible and most people have it already. So it's kind of a neat way to leverage PowerPoint, not as a presentation tool, but as a way to create images that we can then use in other applications. So let's get to work here. I'm going to use this circle as the anchor for my image. I'm going to just size this up a little bit, make it a little bigger, and then I'm going to position these clip art items around the edge of my circle. These are going to represent steps in the recycling process when I build my engage interaction. And I'm going to make this guy just a little bit bigger and then put that right in the middle. So that looks about how I want it to look. Um, so basically anything that you can add to your PowerPoint slide like I've done here can then be saved out as its own image file and then you can use it in whatever application you want. So here, now that I've gotten things the way I want them, I can select everything and then hit Control G on my keyboard to group it as one item. And then I'm going to right click and then choose save as picture. And here I can choose from a number of different formats. You can see that there's quite a list here. I like to use the PNG format. That's um, a format that'll help to, uh, to preserve the transparent background of my image. And it also works real well with the articulate tool. So I'm going to call this recycle.png and save that to my desktop. Now one thing to keep in mind is that any tool that you use like this to um, save out a picture in this way is going to compress things a little bit differently. And if you find with PowerPoint that when you save out your images, um, you know, maybe you've tried a couple of the different formats and it's still not giving you super crisp output that you want, which can sometimes happen, especially with text. Um, sometimes you'll get a little bit of artifacting around the letters in your text. Um, then another trick that you can try is to just do a screen grab of the slide that you've built here and then save that screen grab as your image file. In fact, if you're using Vista or Windows 7, you've got a free snipping tool that comes with Windows. So you've got it already on your machine and you can use that to capture your screen. And if you're not using Vista or Windows 7, that's okay. There are plenty of other free or low cost tools out there. I know um, Evernote is one that a lot of people like. So you can play around with what works best for you. In this example here though, saving everything out as a PNG is going to work just fine. So what I want to do next is take that image that I just created and bring it into my Engage interaction. So I'm going to switch over to Engage. And this is my labeled graphic. This is what it looks like when you first start a labeled graphic in Engage. You've got this placeholder image right here, this flower. And I'm going to click on the Change Image button and then navigate to the image that we just created and then click Open. And here's that picture that I've built. I've brought it in as a single image. Now, all I would need to do is add a few more of these little red markers, right, in my Engage uh, file and position them in just the right place um, on my image. And of course, add some text for each one. And then I can publish my interaction. And I've actually already created a sample of this to show you. So I'm going to switch over to my published output and we'll take a look. So here's my Engage Interaction and my image is right here and I can click on any of these items, right, to learn about the recycling process. So it's pretty neat. The end result here was that I was able to quickly build my own image out of a bunch of separate images without spending money on a fancy image editing tool. And it was pretty easy to create just the look that I needed. So it's a real handy way to use PowerPoint to combine or customize the images that you want to bring into your e-learning courses. So I hope that gives you some new ideas for ways that you can use PowerPoint in your projects.